Primero is an open source software platform that helps humanitarian and development workers manage protection related data. In this demo, you will see how Primero facilitates case management, incident monitoring, family tracing, and reunification. On the screen, you are seeing the mobile login for a social worker on an Android phone who has the ability to create cases via the mobile client. The URL shown in the mobile client is a link used for the web application, which we will walk through shortly. Once logged in, you will be able to see your user login, agency, the logout button, cases, tracing requests, and synchronization. You can hide this landing page by swiping it to the left. In this example, you will see that this social worker has zero cases. You can create a new case by clicking the plus button in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. You can also enter personal information about the child, such as their name, their gender, their age, marital status, and any other additional information. The social worker also has the ability to enter additional details, such as basic identity information, data confidentiality, family details, follow-up, they can attach any photos or audio recordings, and add any notes. The forms that you're seeing on the screen are all configurable. Once this information has been entered, you can save by clicking in the top right hand corner of the screen. Once this information has been saved, you can go back to the case file by clicking on the pencil icon to add and modify information. In order to view this information on the web application, you'll be required to go back to the landing page. Once you click synchronized, you can see the date when the la data was last synchronized, how many records have been synced, and how many have not. Once you click on the sync button, you can sync those that were previously not. Syncs are only successful when connected to the internet, otherwise all data will be saved to the device. By synchronizing the records, you have now allowed the data that you've collected on your mobile to appear on the web application. To access the web application, use the URL link that was previously shown on the mobile client. What you're now seeing on the screen is the web application for Primero. Once logged in, the social worker is now able to view a dashboard of their case files Once logged in, the social worker is now able to view case files that were entered on the mobile, as well as other case files that may be available. Here, case managers are able to view case files which have been previously prioritized for follow-up or assessment. In this view, case managers can either create a new case or search cases by their ID number or national ID number in order to ensure they do not duplicate a record or to see if a record already exists in the system. As mentioned previously, in the mobile application view, we are able to see the same configurable forms in the web application. Agencies are able to configure nested forms which allow for simple tracking of services over time. As well, they can configure lookups and provide for better evidence and analysis. Cases can be managed on mobile and only via the web application for those cases where follow-up or service delivery is required. In order to view a case on mobile, you can do this by marking the case for mobile by clicking Actions and Mark for Mobile. Once this has been selected, I can synchronize my mobile client to retrieve this information. I now can edit and modify this case similarly to the one previously. Another functionality in Primero is the ability to create a tracing request. Tracing requests are created for caregivers who are looking for a child. 
The social worker has the ability to enter case information on that child and any other additional information that may be pertinent. In this example, a tracing request is going to be created for Kieran, whose file we were previously creating. Once this tracing request has been synchronized, this record can be modified on the web application. Primero is able to run a simple matching function for any records to be able to see if there are any matches. You can now see this for this user who has access to additional functionality. The tracing requests and cases are screened for any potential matches with a specific score. In this case, the tracing request for Kieran could be generated, and the user could click on the link to verify that this case is indeed a match. Forms, lookups, and locations are all easily customizable, and users are able to add, edit, hide, and delete forms and fields as required to adapt to changing requirements in this view. In the next page, certain users are able to manage users, provision role-based access, permissions, and passwords with intuitive controls. And in the last page, users can build and edit custom reports. They use filters, ranges, and aggregate counts to generate tables and graphs.